Because of their reckless spending, when I am your age, my share of the national debt will be $279,000. All right, now to the college kids showing the president's deficit commission how it's done. The College Republican National Committee launching ads today taking aim at government spending because they're fearful for their future. My next guest is behind that ad. He's Rob Lockwood. He is with CRNC. Um, Rob, what kind of reaction have you gotten this from just other kids at school? Well, I mean, our reaction has been fantastic. This is the second television ad that we're currently running through the election, and it was based on the results we got from the first. The first was incredibly well received, and we started talking to college Republicans across the country, and we said, you know, how is this ad playing on your campuses? They said, it's great, and you know what we're doing? We're calling our parents, and we're telling them about it, and we're telling them about the dangers that the votes that uh, college kids voted when they voted for Obama, how these policies are affecting us. And so from that, we kind of got this new concept, like, hey, wouldn't that be pretty cool if we could put that on TV? And it worked, and I mean, like, Judging by the coverage we've gotten today and the reception from our national membership, we couldn't be happier. Well, you're on this show today, so you're getting it done. Um, but yes, in all sir. seriousness, Rob, I mean, uh, not all, but uh, I think it's uh, fair to say most college campuses are fairly liberal. That includes the student body as well as the professors teaching them, not across the board. So I wonder about the mood you bump into with friends who might be Democrats or, or more liberal or who might just say, well, that's whatever you're doing is just right wing nonsense. What do you say? No, I, I kind of disagree with you there, Neil. And I think one of the most profound misconceptions in American politics is that young people have always voted democratic or excuse me, democratic. It's just not true. Uh, Reagan won the youth vote. George H.W. Bush won the youth vote. And George W. Bush split it with Al Gore. Um, so what we're seeing is that in 2008, it was kind of taboo to be a Republican. There wasn't really clear what the party stood for. And that's why 66 percent of you know young voters, 18 to 25 year olds, voted for President Obama. But what you're seeing is people are recognizing how dangerous their policies have been. So you think they're swinging back? Rob? You think they're going away from him now? They're absolutely coming back. Our field program, the numbers we have and the amount of volunteer hours we put in are, are indicative of that. But more importantly, we're showing by an AP poll that came out last week that only 44 percent of that same collegiate demographic now approves of the President Obama. That's a decline of 20 percent. And the more kids read about what they're doing, the more they line up with the Republicans. They don't like the bills they're going to have to pay, right? They really don't like the dead. All right. Interesting stuff. Rob Lockwood. It's changed since I was in school, if that's the case.